Welcome to the concise NetHack video about my late game strategy walkthrough in NetHack version 3.6.6. The concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. This is the third of three strategy walkthrough videos. Rather than showing a NetHack game, I'll just talk through the major steps I take when I play NetHack. You can do things differently and still ascend, but this is the general strategy plan I usually try to follow. So, after you've cleared the castle re level, you're ready for the late game strategy. The first step is to clear the Valley of the Dead. The Valley of the Dead is the level below the castle. You enter the Valley of the Dead by falling through one of the pits in the castle level. I explore the three graveyards on this level. There are uh, several large boxes that have rings, potions, scrolls, and spell books that I might need. Uh, don't pray on this level or below anywhere through Jehannam. There are lots of wraiths on this level, and you'll want to consider uh, luring them, them up to dungeon levels uh, to eat their corpses. That takes some work, and I will have a concise net back video about how to do it quickly. The next step is to fully explore Jehannam. Jehannam is all levels between the Valley of the Dead and the bottom level, or Moloch Sanctum. Magic mapping is very helpful. I save all the scrolls of magic mapping I find through, through uh, any of the previous levels, unless I'm lucky and can cast the magic mapping spell. If you have limited, a limited number of scrolls of magic mapping, you only actually have to fully map every other level. The way to do that is you'll map a Jehannam level enough to find the down staircase. Then you go down, but you don't map that level. You dig down to the next level down. You map that level enough to find the up staircase. Then you go up to the middle level, and you have both staircases mapped. Uh, then you simply repeat that process all the way to the bottom. Uh, the problem with this process is you might not find the stairs to Vlad's Tower this way, and if you don't, then you need to go back up and do some additional searching. In Jehenim, I strongly recommend that you dig a direct path between all stairs, staircases on all levels, because when you're coming back, you'll have the Wizard of Yendor and the Mysterious Force harassing you. So dig between the stairs with wands of digging or with your pickaxe. You will encounter the Asmodeus level and the Baalzebub level. They're going to ask you for a fraction of the gold in your main inventory. You can either attack them and kill them, or you pay them off. I typically pay them off because I don't like the distraction of always having to go protect the upstairs and try and kill them while I'm standing on the upstairs. I keep between 50 and 100 Zork Mints in my main inventory, and I just give them the amount of money they ask for. They laugh at me and call me a coward, but then they leave me alone. Step number three is to clear Vlad's Tower and obtain the Candelabrum of Invocation. I'm not going to go into detail here because I've got a video, a concise net hack video about it. Step number four, find the vibrating square on the bottom level. You want to find the vibrating square before you kill the Wizard of Yendor because he'll start harassing you as soon as you kill him. Uh, you know you're on the bottom level when there's no down staircase and you can't dig through the floor. Uh, you find the vibrating square. Uh, you can do that with a confused scroll of gold detection, but if I don't have enough of those, I usually just walk around the, the level. It won't be next to the edge, so you explore the middle of it first. Once you've found the vibrating square, you're ready to clear the wizard's tower and get the Book of the Dead. I've got a concise net hack video about that, but the quick summary is you check the center of both fake wizard's towers to find the magic portal that takes you to the wizard's tower. You ascend up through the levels of the wizard's tower and you kill the wizard of Yendor at the top level. You grab the Book of the Dead and head back down. Step number six is to perform the invocation ritual on the vibrating square. Again, I've got a concise neck heck video about that, but uh, the quick uh, summary is you need to have the Bell of Opening 
from your quest nemesis. You need to have the candelabrum from Vlad's Tower with seven candles attached. You can also get those candles from Vlad's Tower. You need to have the Book of the Dead. On the vibrating square, you apply the bell and the candelabrum, then you read the Book of the Dead. That opens the stairs down to Moloch's Sanctum. Uh, step number seven is you retrieve the amulet of Yendor from Moloch's Sanctum. Of course, uh, I've got a concise net hack video for that, but you uh, you head down and kill the high priest and take the amulet. Step number eight is to ascend all the way back up to dungeon level one. Uh, the mysterious force will keep you from sometimes from going upstairs in uh, Jehenim, but it's not so bad if you move quickly and you've dug between all the stairs. You'll want on the way back up. You'll want to. Uh, do a final visit to your stash to maybe increase your stats. Uh, and I have a video on that as well, blessing spells of healing. Uh, then you'll retrieve any items you need for your ascension kit that you're not already carrying, such as a couple wands of digging. Uh, step number nine, then, is to ascend through the earth, air, fire, water, and finally the astral plane. Uh, there are videos on those, of course, and then you find your co-aligned altar, or uh, find your co-aligned altar and sacrifice the amulet on the astral plane. That's all I want to cover for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise net hack video about my late game net hack strategy. Thank you for watching.